Welcome to Sunday. Uh, it's mid-afternoon, probably three something, uh, three oh three. I'm pretty close. I uh, haven't really done much today so far. I got up pretty late and had some breakfast. Uh, it's supposed to be 62 today. It's like 52 right now and mostly cloudy, but I can see some shadows. So I'm thinking, well, it's not raining. I'm going to go out and finish my spouting job up here. Pull the ladder out, get a bucket, clean that out. This is the second problem area right here. It's a lot of the upper roof comes down to the lower roof and then drains through that downspout. Can you see it on camera? Right there. So I'm going to clean that up. It's actually not bad. All of this stuff in here, this is all you know, little flakes of the roof that come down. Uh, usually I flush that out, but I don't have the pump in the creek yet, so I can't put a hose on the spigot over there. Actually, I think there is a regular house spigot. Maybe I could bring the hose over here, flush all this out. The only leaves I see are down there in that corner, so I'm going to reposition the ladder and pull them out. Wow, I've been working. It's now 7.15. Um, I don't remember when I even filmed the last clip, but I did all of the spoutings on the whole house. That was fun. Um, the sunroom here, I had to go out on the roof. There's a window up there. You crawl out here, and then instead of using a ladder and moving it every four feet, I just decided to perch off the end of a roof, the roof, and clean that out. Using a gallon bucket, I filled it like four times with leaves, chucked them back in the woods. Now it's done. Um, took the gutter guards off on the other side. Dad, you know what I'm talking about. Tons of bees nests under there. I don't know how those spoutings even work. No, uh, no inhabitants, so I pulled them out, threw them away. Um, got up on the roof, did the upper roof as well. I obviously didn't walk up there, but I got everything cleaned. Uh, so we're ready for our spring rains now, which I'm sure will return any day. Uh, this guy over there across the street came over and asked me to mow this year, so friggin' rights. So that means I've got one, two, three, and four houses to mow this year. I also came out here a few weeks ago. I noticed this light was out. The wiring down there is screwed up. We actually run it, ran all the wires in conduit about 10 years ago. Used PVC, came out of the house, went to each light. There's five, put a junction box in. Well, this box over here, something happened to it. It got full of water, so I've had to do it manually. Uh, and there's problems, so I had to dig it up and put the connections back together, and it was a big mess. It took about an hour, but these spoutings up here, are done, flush the downspout out into here, clean this one out down there, everything. Uh, my neighbors probably think I'm crazy for perching off of a roof for like three hours this afternoon. So I did all of that. Uh, there's still a lot of work to do out here, but I guess that's good progress. My back is killing me. Um, I've got you know, four yards to mow this week, and that's. I'm not gonna start complaining already because it's, it's warm enough to do it. It's gonna be 73 tomorrow, but uh, I have to mow yards, but money. I guess. Mom and sister are at soccer. What else? We'll be back by maybe 7.30, I think. 7.24. So I've got six minutes. I'm going to go upstairs and take a shower because I feel like I've just bathed in wet leaves and it's dank. All right. Work is done. Uh, I got my shower. Today's been very productive. I did all that stuff with the house. and I, I need to make several days like that before it's time to go sit at the pool and not worry about anything. I got to do all the stuff in the woods with the with the pump, got to get the hoses up, sprinklers out, patio furniture out, um, let alone the landscaping, pull the leaves out of landscaping. There's a three or four day job. Uh, it is spring, but that means it's just work time and there's a lot of work to be done. Uh, but the weather is actually getting conducive to doing that. Wouldn't it be nice to live in a place where every single year you don't have to spend hundreds of hours of your life winterizing and then summarizing and cleaning up the mess of winter to your house. I mean, we have to replant all of our gardens every single year and restore them from pretty much a disastrous state of decay. How ridiculous is that? Well, I forgot to tell you what I'm doing. I'm on my way into town to meet Razvan on the flip side. Get something to eat. I had a few pieces of pizza an hour ago. I uh, just left over from last night, but I can still eat. And uh, the, the milkshake that they have there sounds very good right about now. So it's 7.50. I'm going to do that. Um, haven't heard from anybody else tonight. It'll probably be pretty low-key. We'll take it easy, chill out a little bit. 55 degrees. I don't think I saw anything warmer than that. And uh, did I tell you that I'm I'm pulling the Alex Gardner approach this year of uh, the whole shorts thing. I remember last year uh, when I saw him every day at school. Um, he's a year younger than I am, if you didn't know. 
Uh, he would put his shorts on. It was like summer tires. That was the analogy we made. He put his shorts on the day he decided to do that. He was wearing shorts. You don't. Have, he didn't. He didn't have like I did that five-week transitional period of today I'll wear shorts. No, today it's too cold. Well, I'm pulling his approach this year. Shorts are on. Shorts are here to stay. I had jeans washed one last time and put them away today. So, friggin' rights. Welcome to shorts territory. Anyways, today was supposed to be 62. I saw 55. Got hot working. Took the jacket off. It's still off. Let's see how I did. I remember filming this last year. Check it out. It's that beautiful blue. It's an S8. Oh, that's an S8. Shit. I thought it was a S4. Well, I'm going to park in front of it. Anyways, it's the same blue as the S4 that I see all the time. Well, look what just drove by me. That M3 I saw when I was biking. E92 Coupe. Very nice. 757. It now knows exactly where I am downtown Hudson thanks to my map upgrade. The M3 made a left. Oh yeah. Anyways, got that Audi behind me. I'll get out and film it better in a minute. Roz is gonna be here about 10 minutes. We got the local riffraff out tonight too. Look at this. We got like four kids in Hudson. That's a new high number for the year. They've got a skateboard. That's illegal in this city because our cops are uh, officers of the law, gentlemen. Sorry if you're watching. Uh, yeah, they don't like that kind downtown. Doesn't bother me. Okay, Mr. Man just got in the S8, so without looking too weird, oh, his, mole, his mirrors folded out, nav screen popped up. Um, I will fold mine out as well so we can see. And we'll see what we see. Oh, there's an Accord. Typical Audi headlights. And there goes the S8, and there goes the Jacura. Yeah, very nice. I love that color. There's an S4, same color I mentioned before. It looks like it has 20 inch wheels on it. Probably pretty expensive. Look how beautiful that xenon light projection is. The flip will never get it. There's brights. It's gorgeous. Anyways, dinner, uh, very good. Had to wait a really long time for my shake for some reason, so they actually knocked it off the bill for me. Very cool, I like that kind. Thank you, Flipside. Met Razvan there, did a little talking, a little bit of, dis little bit of business, you know the stuffs. Um, so I am on my way home, it's 9.10. Actually, I'm gonna stop by Cannon's and uh, uh, I haven't seen him since Friday, so I guess we'll see what's up. 51 degrees still, it feels like, uh, I don't know, less than that. We walked around for a few minutes after dinner. It was very chilly. So needless to say, I'm back in the car. I, my heater core is still set to red. Um, I have a hunch that tomorrow it might go to the white bar, which is in between red and blue. Uh, so that's a good sign. It's supposed to be 73, which either means 65 or 80. We'll see tomorrow. Guys, 1.51 in the morning, got back from Cannons a while ago, and I went to work. Guess what I did? Spending multiple hours out on the spoutings and digging and landscaping wasn't enough. Oh, we got the car washed. I got my shop light out here, don't worry. It's on a towel. Everything is safe. It's not on the paint. And uh, friggin' right. Tire shine detailed the wheels. It's gonna rain Tuesday, but I wanted to get the, the week's worth of filth off. So it looks really nice now. This hasn't been Zanoed for a while. It actually still feels really good. Trust me, I would not run my hand like that over the paint surface if it were not very clean and it glides all over. It gets a little rougher down here, but uh, I've talked about that. We'll clean that up once I'm out of school in three weeks. I have three weeks of the semester left. How awesome is that? So she's all clean now. I'm going to run inside and lay down and hopefully my back will go from a question mark to an exclamation mark because it hurts right now. My spine is dicked. I'm going to get some chocolate milk and I will probably end this log later. So enjoy this clean car, because I know I am tomorrow. It's supposed to be 75 degrees. 314.1562535, something like that is pie. Colt's talking, he says he hasn't started his vlog yet, so go check his out. I'm sure it's gonna be a real winner today. Anyways, cars washed, spoutings are clean, lights are fixed outside. Uh, I'm gonna go take care of some emails and some YouTube. I already got my shower tonight before dinner. Today was very productive. Had a little bit of fun with Alex and with uh, Roz and Kenan tonight, so that was good. But uh, now it's time to go to bed, and I cannot wait to lay down, so I'll talk to you guys tomorrow as I just fall off the step down into the family room on Monday. Good night.